Good evening and welcome to the 2018 Best of CES Awards. I am Engadget's Editor-in-Chief, Christopher Trout, and this is Dana Wollman, our Executive Editor. Dana, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Pretty good. It has been a week of very big surprises for us. We had a really big showing from Google this year. We had torrential downpours and, of course, the great blackout of 2018. Where were you during the great blackout of 2018? I was right here for about five seconds, and I booked it because I wasn't sure what was happening. Fair enough. Sure. So I know that all of you did not come out here to listen to Dana and I talk. Uh, you're here to see who came out on top at CES this year. So let's get started, Dana. The first category. Kicking things off, we have Best Accessibility Tech. This is the second year in a row that we are presenting this award. As the name suggests, it is meant to recognize companies whose technology helps elderly, the elderly and the disabled live better and more independent lives. Kicking things off, we have the Will Model C wheelchair. Now, Will won this category last year, and it is back with a more compact and portable wheelchair model this year. We have the Zenoma e-skin pajamas, which are pajamas that have built-in sensors in the fabric that give dementia patients a little more mobility than they would otherwise. There are the Neofact Neomano, which is the, a robotic glove that allows paralytics to pick up objects weighing as much as two pounds. And then who can forget the My Special Aflac duck, which not is... Not I. Not you, and not I, which is a robotic duck designed to comfort children with cancer. And the winner is. Well, this is complicated. <laughs> and the winner is the Zenoma E-Skin e pajamas. pajamas. The next award is for best startup. Uh, this one goes to the best the startup showing great sophistication and innovation while also demonstrating a clear path to real world availability. Because as we all know, not every startup actually gets up off the ground. Starting this one off is Black Box VR. It's a video game that doubles as a strength training workout. So while you're pumping iron, you're also killing dragons. We've got Looksit Labs, a VR headset that measures a user's brain waves. Reflection, aimed at detecting brain injuries in young athletes. And Arable, a $500 crop sensor for farmers. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the winner is... These envelopes are very complicated, y'all. I'm sorry about the delay. It's about anticipation, though, right? And the best startup is Black, Black Box, Box VR. VR. Cheers, y'all. A suitably fit crew. Next up, we have the best digital health and fitness product, which is meant to recognize the most innovative use of technology that is designed to improve users' health and well-being. First up, we have the L'Oreal UV Sense, a two millimeter thick sensor that tracks UV exposure and fits on your thumbnail. And look how cute it is, not on a thumbnail, but on your uh, wrist. Doesn't really match our traditional definition of a wearable either. Absolutely. No. Next, we have Casio's G-Shock Range Man, a very rugged timepiece indeed. This is And then we have off. Black Box, no. Black Box VR. And the winner is... L'Oreal. UV Sense. Thank you so much. Sorry about the wait, guys. Best wearable. This is um, pretty obvious. It is the best gadget at the show that you can put on your person. Uh, and the nominees are Kate Spade's Scallop, an Android Wear Watch. An Android Wear Watch made for women by women, the L'Oreal UV Sense, and Xenoma's E-Skin Pajamas. And the winner is... L'Oreal UV Sense. Very popular. Guys, 
moving on, we have best transportation technology. I think this one speaks for itself. We're recognizing any technology that helps people get from here to there. Kicking things off, we have the Toyota e-Palette, which is an electric vehicle that really blurs the line between brick and mortar and online businesses. We have the Byton EV concept, an electric vehicle and a concept car that really got a lot of attention at this week's show. And then NVIDIA Xavier, which is a system on a chip designed specifically for self-driving vehicles. And the winner tonight is Toyota's Toyota e-Palette. E Congratulations, guys. That is a beast of a store on wheels. Next up, we have the best home theater product, and this one might come as a surprise because it does not include TVs. This is all the other stuff that entertains you in your home. Starting this one off, we have the Optima 4K projector with Alexa because apparently everything has to have Alexa or Google Assistant in it this week. Uh, this is bringing act uh, voice activation to movie nights. Next, we have Hisense's 150-inch laser TV. This is a short throw 4K projector, and it's big, y'all. Now, finally, we've got the Channel Master Smart Antenna Plus. This is a super antenna for over-the-air TV. And the winner is... Optima's, Optima's 4K, 4K Alexa, Alexa projector. projector. Yeah, get it. Congratulations. Thank you. And right. we have the best connected home product now. And this one, too, requires no explanation. We had Google and Alexa everywhere at the show. So as you can imagine, this was a pretty big category this year. First, we have Lenovo Smart Display, which has Google Assistant and really is the closest thing we've seen to an Amazon Echo Show competitor. Then there's LG's Think Kitchen Appliance lineup. And we were just really impressed with the way all these appliances interacted with uh, each other and how proactively they behaved thanks to the AI on board. And also surprised to hear that uh, LG's executives actually call it ThinQ. That was in a moment this week. Yeah. <laughs> then we have Whirlpool and the Yumly Smart Kitchen, which is really just the integration of Whirlpool smart appliances with the Yumly recipe app and works great as far as we can tell. Then there is Samsung's Family Hub Refrigerator, which is also an AI-based smart refrigerator. It uses Samsung's Bixby Assistant. And it also acts as a hub for the whole, all the connected home gadgets you might have in your house. And the winner is... Lenovo's Smart, smart Display. And now for best innovation, which is a pretty big accolade for CES. This is also known as best disrup disruptive tech, uh, which apparently these envelopes have been tonight. Starting off this category is Toyota's e-Pilot, the Byton concept, Nvidia's Xavier, and Samsung's the Wall Micro LED TV. This is a 146-inch 4K OLED alternative. And, and the, the winner, winner is, is Toyota's, Toyota's ePalette, e once again. Ho hope you got two hands. Hey guys, here's another category that requires no explanation. The best phone or mobile device. First up, we have Planet Computers Gemini. This is the second coming of the Scion PDA. Next up, we have Sony's Xperia XA2 Ultra, which is a big and stylish mid-range device, and we were impressed by the amount of features inside, the kind of features we'd normally expect from a more, a more flagship device. Then there's Lenovo's Mix. 630, which is the first Windows 10 machine out there to run on one of Qualcomm's smartphone chipsets. And the winner is... The, the Lenovo, Lenovo Mix 630. 630. 
an unusual choice for mobile product, we know, but that chipset really does something. And now for best TV product, uh, it's TVs, y'all. First up, we have Samsung's The Wall Micro LED 4K TV. Next up is LG's C8 OLED, an improvement on LG's already excellent OLED lineup, this time with Google Assistant, of course. And TCL 6 Series Roku TV, which proves that you don't have to go broke for a sleek 4K set with HDR and voice control. And finally, NVIDIA's 65-inch big format gaming displays, the first big screen TVs for gamers, if you can call it a TV. And the winner is... LG's 2018 C8 Series OLED. display. Okay guys, let's talk gaming. We are on to the best gaming product now. Our first nominee is NVIDIA's big format gaming displays. Then we have Whirlwind's FX Vortex, which bring wind effects to desktop gaming. HTC Vive's wireless adapter, which turns tethered VR headsets into wireless devices. And then lastly, the HTC Vive Pro, which is a premium upgrade to the original HTC Vive with a more comfortable design and a higher res display. And the winner is... The HTC, HTC Vive Pro. Pro. And now for the best unexpected product. These are the products that turn heads on the CES show floor and make you go, hmm. First up we have, of course, the My Special Aflac Duck. Next up, the My Li-Fi Lamp. This is a desktop light source that uses light bulbs to transmit wireless internet. The Dell X Nikki Reed Circular Jewelry, Dell's foray into the fine jewelry courtesy of repurposed motherboards. The Puffco Peak, making dabber faster and easier. And finally, the Asus ROG Bezel. Bezel-free kit, rather. We don't want bezels on this one. Turning three gaming displays into one via magic. And the winner is... The My Special Aflac, Aflac Duck. Duck. I want to get my hands on this one at some point. It works. Works as advertised, y'all. Very, very brief hands-on moment there. Next up, we have best PC or tablet. This year, they all happen to be PCs. Starting off, we have the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, which is an existing product that's received an upgrade with Dolby Vision HDR, an embedded eSIM radio, and a webcam shutter. There's also the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1, which is the first 2-in-1 of this size in Dell's XPS line. Of note, Dell's XPS line has been a Best of CS winner in the past. We have the Acer Swift 7, which now holds the title of the world's thinnest laptop. And the HP Spectre X360, which is HP's latest convertible, and it has powerful graphics under the hood, thanks to AMD's RX Vega M GPU. And the winner is Trout. Lenovo's Lenovo ThinkPad X1, X1 Carbon. Carbon. Yeah, there's some enthusiasm. Can we get a high kick too? 
second. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Showmanship, y'all. Next up, we have the best sports tech. This is the product that changes the game quite literally. First up, we have Black Box VR. Prevents biometrics head impact monitor system. I knew that was going to be a mouthful. And rightfully so, it's a mouth guard. That alerts football coaches and trainers to concussions to prevent brain injury. And finally, we have Sony's WFSP700N. So many numbers and letters, y'all. Sports earbuds. These are truly wireless earbuds with noise cancellation and waterproofing. And the winner is inside this envelope. And the winner is prevent biometrics head impact monitor system. Hard to say in unison, but a, an excellent device as far as we can tell. To be fair, in the press, they do have it abbreviated. We just wanted to make sure y'all knew what it, was, what it was. This next category is one that we always have a lot of fun with. This is best robot or drone. Needs no introduction. The My Special Affleck Duck is uh, the first nominee. Then we have Sony's Ibo, which is the return of Sony's robotic dog. It has returned having learned some new tricks. And then we have Drone Interactive. And basically, if you imagine flying real-life drones in a VR, AR world, you pretty much have the picture. And the winner here is... Sony's Ibo. Congratulations. That is a really cute puppy y'all got on your hands. Next up, this is a first time for the Best of CES Awards. Um, as you guys might have noticed, a lot of companies are no, no longer just focusing on the environments inside your homes. They're moving out into the streets of our cities. This is about city planning and technology. First up is Sufa's Sign Community Bulletin Board. This is a solar-powered e-ink display for citywide alerts and social media boosting, among other things. Wi-Fiber's IntelliPlatform, an admittedly Orwellian take on the street lamp, but also one that could do the cities a lot of good. And the Matrix, in Matrix Industries Energy Harvesting Sensor Beacon. This is a battery-free smart city sensor. Oh, and finally, the My Li-Fi Lamp. And the winner is... The winner is... Wi Fiber integrated, integrated streetlights. Street lights. Yeah, do it the running man. I don't know. Cabbage patch. Butterfly, Tootsie Roll. I could go on. Y'all just gonna stand there after all that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all. And now, the moment you've been waiting for the best of the best, best in show. And the winner is... Anticipation. The Toyota E-Palette. You're like Mariah Carey at the Grammys in 94 or 5 or something. <laughs> We've got one more for you. The last award of the night is People's Choice. So uh, if you don't like it, it's your fault. And the winner of People's Choice this year goes to Dell X Nikki Reed Circular Collection Jewelry. Congrats, guys. Nikki Reed's got a pretty big online following, it seems. Also, I think it looks pretty nice. I am not Nikki Reed. Oh, this is not Nikki Reed, for those of you wondering. This is, this is someone sent from her, uh, her team. And that is it for a odd and unusual Best of CES Awards. I promise to do better next year. Um, I want to thank our partners who made these beautiful trophies for us, Box Clever, and all of you for coming out. 
And congrats to all of our winners and all of our finalists and all of our viewers and readers at home who have been tuning in this whole week. Uh, Thank you. For all of this coverage. Thank you so much. And cheers to a great 2018, y'all.